greetings yes. greetings from Arthur School of Business Management. My name is Akash Kenev. Today I am here to have an interview session with HR manager of uh, esteemed uh, organization Automotive Automotive Manufacturers Maruti Suzuki Arena and Nexa. Uh, today I am here to have an adequate knowledge about uh, uh, HR management how the Indian companies uh, mm -hmm. as per the Indian companies mm -hmm. uh, and uh, along with this I am expressing my gratitude towards uh, our uh, HOD, mm -hmm. uh, respected HOD Dr. N. Sundar Pandey sir for mm -hmm. uh, giving us this opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said I am here to, uh, this is our uh, assignment from our academy mm -hmm. to know about HR management. Mm -hmm. So uh, without any delay uh, we can start. Thanks for accepting our uh, Thank you so much. So, uh, first, uh, can we have a little note about you, sir? My name is Kamal Shakti I have done my Bachelor in Commerce. I have done my post-graduation in Event Management. And I have done my Master's in Human Resource. And currently, I have done an Executive Program from IIM Rotter for HR Analytics in Specialization. Um, to know, uh, I have a total of 15 years, 15 plus years of experience in recruitment and human resource. I started my career as an event manager. Uh, I started doing small, small events during my college times. I used to get an opportunity to work uh, for uh, conferences and uh, corporate events as well as I would say glamorous events like award nights and CA cricket awards. So there we used to get a small assignments for 8 days and 9 days. As a students we used to work over there. I got a lot of knowledge out of there. and. Um, uh, practically, I was more interested in event management, but uh, at that point of time, as I told you, human resource as a department was not been recognized. There was this admin department used to take care of all the HR activities, mm -hmm. and uh, at that uh, duration, this human resource HR uh, specialization courses came up in the market. And uh, that is how when I went through uh, this particular uh, subject, I came to know that what event management I am doing is also a part of HR. And HR has a lot of functions. It has a lot of branches where you can you know, explore a lot of things. So that is the time I decided that you know I should be going into this particular field. And that is how I did my MBA. And that is how I entered as the first uh, experience was my trainee IT recruiter where I was not aware about anything, about uh, what is sourcing, what is recruitment, I was, actually I was not aware about. I went as a trainee, I was been selected and they gave me a one month training where I came to know how to source the CVs, how, what are the job, various job portals, what is headhunting, how do you call up a candidate, how you convince the candidate and how do you negotiate with them, what is the onboarding process, how do we issue of our letters mm -hmm. and those are the and what are the documentation purpose which is very much necessary how to schedule the interviews you know the, this all things were being taught and that is how we implemented that company and I left that company um, I uh, then I approached uh, you know the admin department okay in World Trade Center where they required an HRD plus admin that is how that opportunity came on my way and uh, there the uh, challenge for me was I that is industrial relationship in HR human resource also have this particular uh, subject known mm -hmm. as IR which is very important uh, because in most of the company this particular um, you know subject is um, the knowledge and uh, what to say practical knowledge is very important mm -hmm. because here there are union and the management and to tackle both of them you really need to have that skill so that is where I was exposed to that particular subject mm -hmm. and that is the time I came to know what is arbitration, how to uh, you know, um, connect with union people, how to understand their issues and grievance because it is totally different. Management grievance handling is totally different, union handling is totally different because they have their own um, sets of agreement between the employer and the employer. That is the time I got into all this uh, particular um, you know, problem solving. You know. Then I came around with training and development, then employment engagement uh, activities. So this is how I got exposed to HR. Mm -hmm. That is how it became a, you know my my favorite profile. So today currently also I am working on a same profile as an EM HR. Mm -hmm. I take care of Arena and Nexa both. 
the year also overall and during the training and development um, i take care of the employment engagement activities and um, most of the uh, thing is that to coordinate with the employee is a biggest challenge and you should understand like you know the employees who are working they are very much important you know for an uh, company to grow and we should also make them understand how company is important for them because they are also a part of you know what to say career progress in their life so that is how you know this particular profile really um, excites me because every day there is a new challenge so it's absolutely very you know how the recruitment process are in this company yeah, currently uh, the recruitment process which we follow we have to adhere what marketing is rules and regulations and even uh, as per that when we recruit somebody first initially we have a um, uh, to say hr round where we understand uh, uh, what is the commitment level the uh, you know, the candidate has with the company and uh, second thing we see what education background they are coming up and uh, and why they are especially why they are interested for this program because um thing is that just because you have done your bcom btech or something and you just come for a job just to you know occupy yourself for a certain point of amount of time so that such people candidates we don't consider we have to make sure that candidate will attach with us for a very long time and that is the first purpose for the nature and second thing to understand whether they come in under our budget we have to understand how much is their current uh, ctc and expectations we negotiate according to that if there is a notice period then how he is going to serve the notice period what would be the day when he will join so the, uh, when he will resign when he will be submitting the relieving letter that is a initial hr round which i take because Uh, leaving and resignation, we obviously talk at the end once the candidate is selected. But then also we ask it in a very general way in the first uh, time. Yeah. But um, that is the main, uh, you know, uh, thing which we ask. Then we also ask about the family background and everything. So we understand, you know, uh, whether they stay in nuclearly, bachelorly, or you know, they stay in joint family. So it's very special. Like you know, it is very important for us because uh, whatever the performance, everything is related to the personal also with them. You know. so after that hr round when we feel um, we also judge their communications and a little bit of attitude and logical we give certain scenarios we see you know we test how logically he is you know he gives a answer so after that when we feel that his candidate is uh, you know shortlisted for second round we make the arrangement with the hr so the hr includes a tl and a sales manager so most of the tl takes up the interview on their own like sales and everything and assign just view it over view it how it is going on so after i get the comment from both of them if they say they are shortlisted then the third round is with the branch manager now after the branch manager says okay then only that candidate we hire and along with that we also give them a uh, aptitude test along with that that is very much a you know necessary mm-hmm. so an entire test is given to them and as for that only you know because we also need to share it with uh, our parent uh, this partner you yeah. know so this is the entire recruitment process what we uh, did you practice any uh, remote working place for any work from home yes actually you might be aware now due to pandemic now work from home culture has become very um, common initially in indian mar- market um, work from home was not that much expect- accepted but it's uh, around the globe it has been accepted very long back so uh, during this pandemic we have come across a lot of applications and where we can it is possible to work from home is it not necessary to come down to the office to complete it as we can do it online also digitally also but um, here as in hr i would say work from home is okay when uh, when the things are not in um, you know a, the situations demands work from home should be there but uh, getting a chance you should work from office because that is the time you know the interaction becomes very strong that for building becomes very strong and the way we sit face to face when we discuss everything that that impact is very you know different compared to um, if you take a zoom meeting or a teams meeting so it's totally different there's a touch is totally different mm-hmm. and we understand the employee more better employees can understand each other you know the employer can see they can see the work and all so these are the very important thing for a person to grow in life so 
I feel like you know work from home should be there if the situation demands if there is any personal situation or physically per person is not well or like pandemic happens it's okay but you know work from office I would prefer it would be more good for the employees to grow in their life. But in future there will be work from home. Yeah yeah right but I that's what I said not the entire five days mm -hmm. you know at least two days you should meet in the office if three days work from home mm -hmm. three days should be you know. Uh, work from office. People should know, you know, mm. whom we are working. We can see it on the, like, you know, on Zoom and all. We just see once and we just switch on the, off the video, mm. right? So we need to know how we are working, what are the talent is. You know, when, when we do a brainstorming session, we come up with a lot of solutions, you know, for the problems. So it should be like that. There should be a balance. Mm. Uh, can we know about the company work culture and diversity management practice? Um, yes, currently where I am working in AML, the work culture is absolutely amazing and the uh, diversity if you talk like uh, 60 to 70 percent are the female who are working in Arena and Nixon because as it's a service industry, we prefer like you know, uh, uh, like more of female uh, you know, employees mm -hmm. and basically here you can find people who are working from last 30, 35 years, mm -hmm. or, you know, 45 years because there is a safety and security also and uh, not only that if you find the HOD, in HOD level also you will find females ruling over here mm -hmm. and uh, uh, for the safety security also we have a sexual harassment committee where we make sure if any, till today we have never faced any problem but in future if any problem comes up we have a very good committee who handles this problem so all our females out here is very safe and secure and the promotions are being given, you know, they are given the uh, equal, uh, you know, equal platform, you know, so uh, here diversity is again, we never think that says only the male is required or in this department only it is not like that. Everywhere, uh, like, you know, there is a balance. So here, um, the work culture, as I told you, is amazing due to which the people are still working with us and uh, people who join us, they don't leave us. If they leave, there, ma there are certain personal reasons, not because of a good opportunity outside. So, that is what. Mm, how do you co cover uh, employee grievances if any happens? See, grievance handling is a very important part in human resources. If you are an HR, as I told you, it's a bridge between an employee mm -hmm. and an employee. You need to handle first, uh, uh, you know, uh, first hand grievance handling is very important for an HR. Um, grievance won't come like you know knocking on your HR door. It's you who have to go out and observe the employees. As I told, HR should be a good observer. Less talking, but good observer. From observing, you will understand. And any uh, an employee is facing any problems or issue, or he has some performance problems, because you also have to evaluate their reports mm -hmm. and understand. If a person is performing from last one year and from last two months is not performing, so what is the reason? And if a person has joined but from last uh, four months is not performing at all, so what is the reason? So those things also needs to be, you know, you have to be uh, ready with the data. Mm -hmm. Second thing, go out, uh, speak with the employees, not on like, you know, calling up in their HR room. No need, you can just go to their workplace, ask how the work is going on. What are the things, you know, normal way, uh, not on a professional way, a normal way to understand how the employee is, or whether he is happy with what he is doing, or he needs some, um, you know, uh, training in his certain field, or understand where is his requirement, so that the HR can take a proper, you know, action on that and make him, you know, feel that yes, you are very important for the organization because employee requires that. Thing, you know, to if you give, you should give importance to employees because they are the people who are, you know, uh, contributing uh, for the uh, what to say development of the company. And similar way is the company itself, the employer. We also have to understand our employer's requirement. We should balance both of them and make sure both of them progresses in their life. Okay. So uh, grievances in such a way that if you understand there's a grievance, mm -hmm. you should make sure you know a solution should come up. And in your whatever is in your control, do it. And if it is not in your control, you should put up to your management, ask their views and point. You know, obviously you will get a solution. So grievance handling is very much important because if this thing, this task is uh, 
uh, you know, tackled very nicely, uh, employees will always remain with you for a longer time. Can you please share about the practices, uh, about the motivation of employees, uh, how they work productively? Um, so again, and this is also main function in human resource. The productivity, uh, we have to evaluate the productivity and the performance analyze always been related to the productivity of the employee. And uh, to increase the productivity, as I said, deviance handling is very much important. Mm -hmm. Second, employment engagement mm -hmm. programs and activities. As an HR, we have to implement it successfully in the organization. Employment engagement, like we um, celebrate Women's Day, as I told you, our company has 50 to 60 percent of female employees. So we organize Women's Day. We make a very special arrangement for women. Uh, we arrange snacks. We do certain. We give gifts to uh, you know uh, employ women employees. You know we have a small celebrations. You know. Second thing, we have festival seasons. So there we organize a small get together and um, you know uh, we give them a chance to wear a tradition because you know the uniform is very important. So that time we are being given uh, an opportunity to wear a colorful dress and uh, to share few um, like you know write-ups or articles or you know to in Diwali we uh, make sure that they can um, decorate their cabins you know something different from the regular work what they are doing. So these are the small small things but big things if you talk about like um, we have uh, like you know, uh, achiever days, mm -hmm. the people who have achieved their target. So we arrange like you know a tea with the CEO. Um, the CEO can sit and have. We arrange a tea party for that particular group of employees, mm -hmm. and the CEO talks about general talks, not about the official or you know uh, about uh, the targets and all. We just talk about general personal things and about the market and all. So there, uh, the employees also feel, you know, very motivated that you know, CEO has, you know, that importance is created. So that particular, um, what to say, a type of motivation the employee gets. Second thing, we also make sure that, you know, uh, the family is known that you know this particular that his uh, family member, like you know, the employee is uh, a performer. So we make sure that family also knows. So we just, uh, you know, write up a write up and everything, and we share it with the family. Sometimes we also call the family when they are getting an award or something. So that is also a type of, you know, encouragement for the employee to do uh, better in future. Then we also arrange lunch or a movie for the regular employee. So these are the certain things, you know, which we keep on engaging the employees. We also keep on motivating and giving their higher productivity. And they're comfortable in the Correct. Right. Absolutely. Do you practice any uh, employee appraisal? or feedback techniques uh, in this organization? Yes, absolutely. Now currently only we are going through an appraisal process in which um, we uh, circulate a form to all the employees. So they do their self-appraisal. There are certain ratings which has been mentioned. Accordingly, they do a self-appraisal. Afterwards, we collect it and we give it to their respective attributes. Mm -hmm. so they themselves sit with the employees and they do the marking. Mm -hmm. According to HOD, how much they are getting. So accordingly, they mark themselves. Mm -hmm. And then this particular entire bunch, uh, like you know, there is also recommendation for the promotion also. Mm -hmm. So there is a different set of forms which we have, where mm -hmm. the HOD can recommend a certain executive to go on a higher level. Mm -hmm. So that those things are also being evaluated. And at that point of time, employees are being asked if a new position is, a new role is given, how he would cope up. So we also understand what are their mental stability, if they are ready to accept the role, if ready then how much challenges they can accept. So these are the certain things which has been done. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, second thing, once the appraisal is done, this is then uh, go to the HO and according to the, you know, whatever the increment or the promotion. Mm -hmm. is. But yes, in a similar way, the feedback what you talk about, that feedback we do it in a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. We actually from uh, female employees, male employees, we just uh, take up all the you know feedbacks about the work culture and uh, as I told you, you know work culture why it is so excellent why because we frequently in a weekly time we take the you know survey I take a survey and I speak to each and every employee about their work condition how how the work is going on any issues or problems they are facing so those feedback we do it on a weekly basis.
this is all this all is so confidential yeah this are quite confidential this will never be because as in hr we have to maintain that confidential yeah. mm, thank you so much ma'am for so uh, accepting much. our uh, invitation and it was a great full interview uh, and uh, the information we got it's uh, so helpful thank, thank you thank you so much and best of luck thank you